Today we are visiting Holcombe Hall, an 18th century country house. It was built in a Palladian style for the first Earl of Leicester by the architect William Kent. It has 1,500 acres of grounds, a lake, an obelisk, beautiful deer park, a monument and thousands of trees. It also has the Courtyard Cafe that has a range of hot and cold food, soft drinks and cake. What impressed me the most was the choice of gluten-free cake. I was well happy. There's so many of them. This is the old ice house. And they believe that this is the oldest house in existence well before building operations began on the family wing of Holcombe Hall in 19, sorry, 1734. I was surprised to find thatching on the sides. Amazing. Now you've got Holcombe Hall in the distance. The beautiful fellow dear. Hello. Hello dear. <laughs> what a beautiful place. Gorgeous isn't it? Yeah. Come on dear. Let's go. I'm just gonna follow you Ian. Come on, keep pulling off. <laughs> Do you reckon Deirdre's here? <laughs> oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Prickly but fluffy, I guess. They look fluffier than they feel. Oh, it's ice cream. It's ice cream day. Yay! Ice cream! Thank you. Yummy. My favourite. This place is so peaceful, I could spend all day here. After wandering around some of the grounds, we decided to visit the gorgeous little gift shop. It had a large range of unique gifts and even some sweets and stuffed toys. There was something for everyone. It's 
So we've just left Holcombe Hall and on the way home we've just decided that we're going to stop in at Norfolk Lavender Farm. More babies. Sadly, it doesn't look like any lavender is out yet, but I reckon if we were to come back in a couple of weeks, it would be a different story. <laughs> hey, at least we get to see some lavender today. Beautiful. So after smelling everything lavender, we went on home and got ready for the next day where we went to the Norfolk Broads. The Norfolk 
towards a man-made national park with 125 miles of lock-free waterways where you get to see beautiful picturesque houses along the way. Absolutely stunning. What a fantastic day out. Great for kids, great for anyone of any age. Definitely comes highly recommended from us. you hear me ask where is he going and Ian is shouting that side and stupidly I didn't film it there but there was a big boat coming directly towards us on our side and luckily he moved out the way right in time nearly died Ian nearly died, yeah, nearly died. again thank you so much for watching next week we go gin tasting in a gorgeous little distillery called Water Hoot where we sample some of their finest gin chin chin mm -hmm.